Good afternoon, Vikes. In today's show, we have an update on the 2K All-Star Weekend. I'm Cade, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Make sure to check out the library group on Schoology if you would like to access the library online. If you're bored, get to the public library online, and if you have a card, you can access some free movies and books. If you don't have a card, visit their website and follow the instructions. If you have any stuff in your lockers from the school, they are bagged up, and they will be available to come and get them at the school once this crisis blows over. If you would like to be a part of the Virtual Writing Center with Mrs. Sands, please fill out an application before May 1st. I'm with Mrs. Sands today. Tell us some more information about the Writing Center. What could you tell us some more? Yes, so we do have an online application because it's going to be a little bit more complicated for you to get stuff to now. So it's going to be a Google form. Um, you'll just have to fill out your name, um, your English teacher, why you want to be a part of the Writing Center if you've ever been in. It's okay if you haven't. We're just kind of curious to see if you've gotten in. Um, we're losing a lot of people. We have a lot of seniors this year, so we're really looking to have a lot of new people come in and join. So that way we can make sure we have a lot of consultants available to help people next year. So if anyone's interested in just getting their writing improved by improving others, other people's writing um, or possibly having something look good on a college resume or a college application, or really just want to see what the Writing Center is about, we're encouraging you to apply. So, Okay, thank you so much. If you have any questions, just contact them. Graduation and prom dates have been secured toward the end of the summer. It will be the same venues. Dates for these events will be released in the next couple of weeks. Secondary COVID-19 is our website for our middle school, high school, and PHLC students, families, and staff to access. This website contains resources for food banks, unemployment, anxiety management, the latest updates from KDHE on COVID-19. The website will be down below. Make sure that you message your teachers and find out what their office times are. That is so that you can ask them questions live. It really helps out. The weather has been great in the past couple days. Let's go over to Josh to find out if it'll stay after this quick commercial break. Hey Vikes, I'm back with your SVTV NBA 2K tournament update. We had an exciting All-Star weekend where Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid won the 2v2 Dynamic Duo Tournament, Buddy Heald won the three-point contest, and another king, uh, Marvin Bagley, did win the dunk contest. But more importantly, Kevin Durant's team beat Paul George's team in the All-Star game, and Kyrie Irving was crowned MVP, scoring 19 points and having six assists. We had an important semifinal round where Chase Crowder and his Celtics took on Gavin Wilhelm and his Warriors. I went and talked to Chase Crowder about his All-Star MVP and how he feels about going into this match. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Chase Crowder, the GM of the Boston Celtics. And uh, he had a player, Kyrie Irving, win All-Star MVP. Uh, do you feel like Kyrie Irving deserved that award? Uh, yeah. Personally, in my opinion, for this All-Star uh, award, he did score 19 points and outscored all of his teammates by at least 10 points. So, yeah, I feel like he well deserves it by far. Will this give you some motivation, um, you know, going into the semifinal rounds, playing, playing Kevin Durant and uh, Gavin Wilhelm in the Golden State Warriors? I feel like since the past experience of what I've heard, he abuses KD. I feel like Jason Tatum is really good height on him, and I feel like they're a good matchup. But yeah, honestly, I feel like it's 50-50 chance 
by this point. But yeah, I feel like I have, I do have a good chance of winning, and so does he. The first game of this semifinal round was really decided by one player and one player only. Kevin Durant scored 87 points. He also had 18 rebounds. Now, if Gavin can keep up his 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 first score mentality with Kevin Durant, I don't think anyone can beat him in this tournament. Um, but going to the next game, you know, he did keep it up and he scored 136 points, grabbing 17 rebounds. You know, Gavin is looking really unstoppable in this tournament at this point. He is on to the finals round, and he will go against either Micah or McLean Finley in the first round of the finals. Here is your SVTV NBA 2K tournament updated bracket brought to you by Stuco. As you can see, the winner's bracket is almost complete, and the loser's bracket is slowly getting done as we are slowly finding the best 2K player in Seaman High School. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. Now to your regularly scheduled program. Good afternoon to you. It has been a dry past few days, but that could change later on tonight with a chance of showers moving in. Here's how the future radar looks by 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And you can see most of the state will actually be dry. It's not until we get over to far eastern Kansas that you can see a light line of some showers. We're not thinking any lightning or thunder with this activity. It's just some light rain, but at least a chance of showers late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Another round of rain is possible tomorrow night into Friday morning, but by far the bigger story to end the week will be the drastic change in temperatures. Get ready because highs on Thursday will be in the 70s. That's similar to today. But a cold front arrives Thursday night, and that's going to produce highs in the 40s on Friday. Keep in mind, though, those are air temperatures. And as we take a look at the map of temperatures, it just shows a very sharp cutoff from 60s in the morning across southeastern Kansas to 30s and 40s across the rest of the state. But that's not the whole story because there will be breezy north winds and that's going to put wind chills on Friday in the 20s for most of the day. So we'll call it a brief return to winter. It is going to be just feeling very cold as we end the week. Here's how it looks on the SVTV 7-day forecast, which shows quite a few rain chances over the next couple of days, but it's not a whole lot. Just late tonight to tomorrow morning, light rain, then perhaps a few thunderstorms Thursday night, and maybe a few showers throughout the day Friday. Any rain that falls on Friday is going to be cold, but we're not thinking any sort of snow. And then, as we take a look at the weekend and beyond, we start to really warm up, going up about 10 degrees each day, all the way until next Tuesday, which could be our first day in 2020, with highs in the 80s. How does that sound? Cade, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That is all we have for today's show. Make sure to tune in tomorrow and have a great end of your week. I hate this channel.